Young aspiring actors have an outlet for their talent on stage with Act Out KW. The program put on by the KW Children's Drama Workshop gives kids a chance to express themselves and have some fun. On In Your Backyard, how the performers are ending their season with a musical double bill. It is an exciting couple of days here at the Cambridge Arts Theatre. I'm joined by Artistic Director of Act Out KW. This is Todd Burko. And tell us, what's going on here? Uh, we're doing a double bill of Susical and The Lion King Jr. And uh, we're playing uh, today and uh, tomorrow. We have matinees and evening performances. Um, the Susical's performed by children 6 to 10. And uh, Lion King, the children are 10 to 17. So tell us a little bit about Act Out KW. This is a group of kids that get together. They've been getting together for a number of months now. Act Out has been around for 23 years. Wow. This is our 23rd season. I took over as artistic director a year ago in January. Um, this is our last show of the season. In the fall, we did Fiddler. Um, and then we did Don't Mention My Name. In, uh, in May, we did Midsummer Night's Dream at Waterloo Park. And now we're ending our season with our musical double bill. So these kids are essentially learning how to become triple threats. They're doing a little bit of acting, We're trying dancing, to, yes, singing. absolutely. <laughs> and why is it so rewarding for kids to get involved in theater? Well, drama, more than anything, gets people out of their shell, and it gives them confidence. And especially at that age, people are a little bit awkward. At ACT OUT, we have uh, created a really great environment of support for the kids. And there's a really great culture in the company. What you might not know, especially for our older shows, we double cast our shows so that out of our company of actors, we have two casts that then perform in repertory. Okay. That's an opportunity to spread the roles around so everybody gets a couple mm -hmm. of roles to play, but it also gives them a partner who's doing the same role they are so they can work with. And there's a great culture of the kids helping each other. There's also a remarkable culture of the older kids helping the younger kids. That's great. We don't have cliques. We have just one great happy family which is what theater is supposed to be sounds awesome so let's talk about the first show Susical. you yep. mentioned that's the younger kids what's this show about well it's sort of a, an am amalgamation of all of the works of dr zeus put together um the uh, music was written by uh, eric idol who does the music for um, monty python he got the rights to Zeus, put it together this is a condensed version for children um, and it's just a, it's a fun little experience in the theater. And a then, bunch of silliness. Oh, for sure, for sure. And then your older students are doing The Lion King. The Lion King, which is just an awesome show. Well, we have a great director, Jennifer Mogbach, who's been uh, act out choreographer for the last couple of years. And she came to me and asked me if she could assist and direct a show. And I said, no, but I'll give you the keys to go direct. <laughs> That's and great. And we talked about a number of different shows that uh, uh, the season presented. And she said The Lion King has been one of her favorites for years. Yes. and uh, I was happy to tap into her powers of direction and choreography and she's done a fantastic job. Well, we cannot wait to check out these shows. We're going to chat with a couple of the actors too. Does that oh, thank, sound thank good? Thank you very much. All right, let's go see it. In Your Backyard is brought to you by Jiffy Lube and Suds Car Wash. So yeah, there are two plays going on that we're previewing today on In Your Backyard. And coming up, we're going to uh, introduce the actors of the Dr. Seuss classic. Well, for 23 years, kids have been shining in the spotlight at Act Out KW, putting their talents on display. This weekend is a combination of drama, music, and dance at the KW Children's Drama Workshop. On In Your Backyard, some of the performers you'll see on stage. Well, most people are familiar with this hat, but you might not know too much about the musical Seussical. So here to tell us a little bit more about it, we have one of our stars. This is Jackson, and you play Jojo? Yeah. Awesome. Tell me, what's Seussical all about? Um, Seussical is about holding the elephant. He finds, like, a dust bag, um, puts it on this clover, and it's basically a conversation between the world of Who and the jungle of Newell. Um, with the cats helping me, um, holding, talking together, and just the Wickleshams trying to destroy our universe. Very good. And this is your first year with Act Out KW, is that right? Yes. How much fun are you having? I love it. I'm definitely trying next year. Yeah? Yeah, what is it that you like so much about being a part of this group? I just like, with acting, there's like, you can put imagination into anything. Yeah. It doesn't tell you how to say it. You, it just tells you what to say it, so you can do whatever you want with acting. I love that. 
Moira here has been a part of a couple of shows with Act Out KW. She's 10 years old. And Moira, what do you think it is that people are going to like about Susical? I think that they would like the adventure and the feel of, well, of Horton the Elephant chasing after a planet full of who's. Mm -hmm. um, and, and, he's, and he's doing that while he's trying to keep Maisie's egg safe. Right. Because he's promised to do that. I think they'd like the feel and the adventure. So it's a really colorful musical, yeah. lots of fun costumes. You play the cat? Yes. Tell me a little bit about that. Um, the cat is part of Jojo's imagination. Um, they can get him into, they sometimes get him into trouble. <laughs> and they're basically like the new leaders of the story. I have two other cats. Very good. And are you having fun in this show? Yeah. Awesome. I like to hear that. Well, now we're having some fun because I get to hang out with one of the monkeys. This is Aggie. How old are you? Eight. And how much fun are you having being a monkey? So much. Aggie represents me because I climb trees so much really? every day. Okay. Well, so this is the perfect role for you. And, uh, you know, how does it feel to be a part of a group like Act OK KW? Really fun. Mm -hmm. But sometimes I get a lot of stage fright, but I push it away. Yeah. And I still do it awesomely. And it helps me push it away because my mom makes me awesome good luck charms. Hey, I like the sounds of that. And have you made a few new friends being a part of this yes. theater group? Yeah. Happy to hear that too. So when you're standing on stage doing a show that you have worked so hard on for months and months and then people finally get to see it, tell me what that feels like. Awesome! I finally get to present all my hard work to the world. That's so cool. Well, I hope you have a good couple of days. Best of luck with the shows. Okay. <laughs> These young actors were exuding some confidence and some joy. It was so much fun <laughs> to spend some time with them. And they put on a great show yes. as well. The best part is you know they're having fun, mm -hmm. and so it's even more fun to watch them on stage. Completely. <laughs> and coming up, we're going to meet some of the older theater students. They are starring in The Lion King. Right. In this drama program, it's perfectly fine for kids to act out. Young people from 5 to 17 are given the stage at the KW Children's Drama Workshop. As you'll see on In Your Backyard this weekend, they're putting on a classic. So the older group of students here at Act Out KW is putting on The Lion King, which is one of my all-time favorite musicals. Susan here is 16 years old. You play Mufasa? Yes, I do. Why is this such a great musical for you to be a part of? Uh, for me to be a part of, this is my last production with Act Out because I'm going to be going on the exchange next year. So I love this because you get to learn a new culture and you get to experience things that you don't experience in an everyday life. Because who gets to speak African every day? And that, I that's love a good it. point, absolutely. And I mean, this musical is filled with songs that people know. Yeah. What else uh, does Act Out KW bring specifically to this show? Um, so I think that we bring a very interesting blend because the costumes are all based off of volunteer work. Nice. This whole company is volunteer work. Look at this so one. Everything is made out of heart and soul. That's so cool. And you also work with the younger students yes, here. Tell me a little bit about that. Okay, so I'm the assistant director and I've been working with them since the start of October and then we've been going all the way through. Uh, it's amazing. I love them so much. They are so much fun to watch. They start out very young and you watch them grow from this little turtle in their shells to this pouncing panther everywhere. Noah is 15 years old and he plays Scar in The yes. Lion King. That's a pretty cool role, it, I it's think. It's a lot of fun to play. Awesome. So tell me a little bit about your involvement in theater. Um, so I've been with ACT OUT for s since grade three, so that's a couple years ago now. And I got involved because I was a very nervous kid. So I really like theater just because I can be myself mm -hmm. and without judgment, it's great. Absolutely, let's talk a, a little bit about some of these costumes. They're pretty cool. A lot of them are made by you guys out yes. of recycled materials. Yeah, so this is my headpiece that I wear throughout the show. And as you can see, it's string, some foam, some like ripped up uh, paper bags that you would put compost <laughs> in, a basket and cardboard. So it's really easy and it looks really cool on stage. Yeah, it's very effective for sure. We've got Zazu's hat here too. Yes. And uh, you told me a little bit about Rafiki's jacket. Yeah, Rafiki's jacket is made out of every animal that we have in the show. So we, it has some giraffe fur on it, some zebra, some elephant, and some gazelle. And one of the most memorable characters and costumes in this show belongs to Rafiki. And Shauna, that's your role in this show. Yeah. Must be fun to play. It's very fun. Um, I think playing Rafiki, you definitely get to have a lot of fun with the character 
weird being like Rafiki seems to always be moving mm -hmm. or like like a monkey, and I think it's he's just a really important character. When you found out that you were going to be part of the Lion King here at Act OKW, how excited were you? I was very excited. I think it's just it's really fun to be a part of these shows, and you learn a lot from it. I started acting here, so it's very. Cool. And you probably have made a ton of friends here as well. Oh yeah, I think meeting all the people here, it's definitely different from like friends from school. Everyone is just so close and we can all connect with each other and relate with everything and it's the best friends I've probably had.